Serena Williams is fined $17,000 for her shocking U.S. Open final outburst says her coach contradicts the star and admits he was coaching her during her loss to Naomi Osaka. Patrick Murtoglu has admitted to coaching Serena Williams during the U.S. Open final but believes she didn't see him, which is why she became so enraged at the umpire. Williams has made headlines for coming to blows with umpire Carlos Ramos after he gave her a coaching violation in the second set. The tennis legend, who was then docked a point after she smashed her racket, told Ramos she would rather lose than cheat. I'm honest, I was coaching, Murtonglu said after the game. I don't think she looked at me, so that's why she didn't even think I was. But Murtonglu claims that Sasha Bajan, champion Naomi Osaka's coach, was also coaching every point too. I was, like 100% of the coaches in 100% of the matches, so we have to stop this hypocritical thing, he told ESPN. Sasha was coaching every point too. It's strange that this chair umpire was the chair umpire of most of the finals of Rafa, Nadal, and, his uncle, Tony's coaching every single point and he never gave a warning so I don't really get it. Williams later said she was shocked to hear Muratoglu admit to coaching. We have never discussed signals, she said. I don't even call for on-court coaching. I'm trying to figure out why he would say that. I don't understand. I mean, maybe he said you can do it. I was on the far other end, so I'm not sure. I want to clarify myself what he's talking about. Muratoglu later said he was just doing what every other coach does and that the umpire's reaction was extreme. Everybody does it you all know it he told reporters. There is the rule and there's a psychology the chair umpire is supposed to have. He would say he saw you coach, do a movement and give a warning. What he did was so extreme. It's a shame. There is a rule, yes. But you don't screw a Grand Slam final and make it the drama the way it was. It could have easily been avoided if there was psychology. Murtoglu said Williams felt she was insulted by Ramos. He treated her like a cheater, he said. She felt completely humiliated. That's why she reacted like that. Integrity is the most important thing to her. Williams will be fined $17,000 for arguing with Ramos on Saturday. She has been docked for three separate code violations. $4,000 for a coaching violation, $3,000 for smashing her racket, and $10,000 for verbal abuse toward Ramos, according to TMZ. The fines will come out of Serena's $1.85 million winnings from the tournament. Williams has claimed she was the victim of sexism after Ramos docked her a point for Murtoglu's gesture, accusing him of being a thief. I never got coaching. I explained that to you and for you to attack my character then something is wrong. You're attacking my character. Yes you are. You owe me an apology, she told him. You will never, ever ever be on another court of mine as long as you live. You are the liar. When are you going to give me my apology? You owe me an apology. Say it. Say you're sorry. Then don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. How dare you insinuate I was cheating. You stole a point from me. You're a thief too. Ramos then gave her a third violation, which resulted in a game penalty and Osaka 5-3 ahead. A tearful Williams argued her case with tournament officials but, although she held serve in the next game, Osaka served out the victory 6-2, 6-4. Asked in her press conference what she would have done differently in hindsight, Williams became increasingly emotional. I can't sit here and say I wouldn't say he's a thief, because I thought he took a game from me, she told reporters. But I've seen other men call other umpires several things. I'm here fighting for women's rights and for women's equality. For me to say thief and for him to take a game. It made me feel like it was a sexist remark. He's never taken a game from a man because they said thief. It blows my mind. I just feel like the fact that I have to go through this is just an example for the next person that has emotions, and that wants to express themselves, and wants to be a strong woman. They're going to be allowed to do that because of today. Maybe it didn't work out for me, but it's going to work out for the next person. Tennis legend Billie Jean King, who won 12 Grand Slam singles titles including four U.S. Opens, was among those who jumped to back Williams as the row escalated. Several things went very wrong during the women's finals today, King said on Twitter. Coaching on every point should be allowed in tennis. It isn't, and as a result, a player was penalized for the actions of her coach. This should not happen. When a woman is emotional, she's hysterical and she's penalized for it. When a man does the same, 
he's outspoken and there are no repercussions. Thank you, at Serena Williams, for calling out this double standard. More voices are needed to do the same. Victoria Azarenka, a two-time Australian Open winner and former World No One, was also supportive of Williams. She tweeted, if it was men's match, this wouldn't happen like this. It just wouldn't. Grey's Anatomy creator Shonda Rhimes and figure skater Adam Rippon, who both attended the match, likewise rose to Williams' defense. Serena is right. I was there. And worse, he was baiting her, Rhimes tweeted. Was there and completely agree, Rippon added. Much worse has gone on in a men's game with no punishment. Despite what happened. She was so gracious in trying to help create a special moment for Naomi in the end. Both Osaka and Williams were in tears during the emotional trophy ceremony as the crowd filled the stadium with a chorus of booing. Williams said she felt bad as she watched the crowd's reaction to Osaka's shining moment. I'm crying and she's crying and I'm not sure if those are happy tears, Williams said after the match. I was thinking this definitely wasn't how I felt when I won my first Grand Slam. At one point Williams even took the microphone and asked the crowd to stop. I know you guys were here rooting and I was rooting too but let's make this the best moment we can, she said. Let's give everyone the credit where credit's due. Let's not boo anymore. Congratulations Naomi, no more booing. Even Osaka apologized to the crowd, telling them she was sorry it had to end like this. I know everyone was cheering for her, she said. It was always my dream to play Serena in the US Open Finals so I'm really glad I was able to do that. And I'm really grateful I was able to play with you, so thank you, she added turning to address Williams. The WTA says it will look into the dispute between Williams and Ramos, but the Eustace said his decision to hit Williams with code violations is final and the actions were not reviewable.